Hello and happy Sunday. And what I'm showing you here is, are two of my favorite books of all time. Uh, and you can probably tell they're a little old because I got these in the 90s when I first moved out on my own. And actually it's copyright 1989. So these two books are Reader's Digest On The Road USA. And this is the whole set. One is East West Roots. And one is north south roots and the idea of the books for me was when i first set out on my own i wanted to see the country and travel and not miss anything because you know the united states is full of a lot of amazing things and i wanted to see as much as i could and i thought books like this would be a pretty handy guide to take the guesswork out of it it would just kind of point me in the direction of something cool and then I could go to it so it says pleasures and treasures to enjoy within easy reach of the interstate exits now obviously these books are um, <laughs> over uh, 30 years old now so um, there's a chance that some of these um, places are no longer there and also that new places have sprung up so, but I still think that for the most part, you can find most of these things. So, and it says on the back of the East to West, it says Frontier Army Days in North Dakota, the beauty of Motona, Motnoma Falls in Oregon, and a steam train on Colorado's Georgetown Loop suggests the scope of things to see and do just off the East to West interstate highways. And all of these things, to me, look amazing. We see the 7th, I guess that's the 7th Cavalry. Uh, I don't know if that's a 7 or an upside down or backwards. No, that's got to be the 7th. Um, and this train and these beautiful falls I'd love to see. So, uh, this put out by Reader's Digest. And... How to use this book first be sure you have the right volume this is the east west book with the even numbered interstates the odd numbered north south routes are in the other volume the map on the next two pages shows all the routes in this book and refers you to detailed maps on which numbered brackets indicate segments of each interstate when you turn to any two page section in this volume you'll see a red line along the top of each page it represents the segment of interstate covered on those two pages. The boxed exit numbers on the line are keyed to descriptions of the points of interest. The small numbers between the exit boxes indicate the distance to the nearest mile between exits. The total number of miles covered by a two-page section is shown at the bottom of each page. Where interstates intersect, you'll find cross-references to the appropriate section, whether in this volume or the other one. This book works two ways. When going east, leaf through the book from front to back. When going west, leaf through back to front. When there are two exit numbers for one destination, the first exit is given for the drivers headed east, the second for the drivers headed west. And um, it continues, and I love the artwork. It's just the, the empty road. And that's a beautiful sight for me um, because to me, that means, you know, adventure awaits or something interesting awaits. Now we get to the map, the East to West interstates and, um, so the famous ones, 20, 40, you know, you can take 20 all the way to El Paso. You take 40 if you want to, um, bypass El Paso and go to Albuquerque. So, and these are, you know, to cut through Texas, but not that there's not a lot to see there. And 80 to California, 90 to Washington. I mean, it's just pretty exciting and all the things that, um, here's, here's the East-West Interstates. And it tells you uh, what page to look at. And then it, this is sort of instruction pages.
still showing you how to use the book. And then we get to the points of interest with pictures and descriptions, starting with um, Seattle, Washington, Snoqualmie Falls Park, Clay Ellum Historical Society Museum, Olmsted Place State Park, I mean, Petrified Forest, Adam East Museum. So you just see Potholes State Park. You just see all of the different things you can see on your so if you're taking a road trip this gives you ideas of things to see here's the uh, cemetery for the battle of the little bighorn right here in South Dakota or is it Montana I'm sorry it's Montana um, I always think about South Dakota because that's where the Black Hills are. But the Little Bighorn Battlefield is um, this is 510 so here it is. Custer Battlefield National Monument. amazing and Mount Rushmore I've never seen it and I'd really like to see it someday this amazing canyon the corn palace an uncommon tribute to common crops that are cultivated here right Look at that the prickly pear cactus Sandstone. A Norwegian who died for his adopted land is honored on the grounds of the capital. Oh, get the camera. Sorry. Um, enviable luxury as enjoyed by those who could afford a private car and a train. The house is noted for the elegance of the proportions and decorative details. This is 175, the um, Tallman Restorations in Janesville. MH is the Illinois Railway Museum, FYI, right here. Um, Pokagon State Park. An abandoned lighthouse. I mean, look at all the amazing things there are to see if you just decided to take a road trip. Niagara Falls, another thing I've never seen that I'd like to see. Excuse me. And here's um, during the annual Frontier Army Days, Custer 7th Cavalry is actively remembered. Beavers. Oh, there's a castle. The Winter Carnival Ice Palace in St. Paul, Minnesota. Circus wagons provide a worthy challenge to the woodcarver's skill. <coughs> Mount 
out Hood. Lewis and Clark. This is amazing just to look at the pictures. Oh, the Golden Gate Bridge. A lot of stuff I've still yet to see. Ponderosa Ranch. I think that's from strip mining. The purpose is profit, but surprising byproduct is a monumental work of art. But I think these little pools in the bottom of the strip mining things are usually pretty toxic because they concentrate so many chemicals. Christmas decorations add to the charming clutter typical of the Victorian era. This is number three, which is huh. the historic General Dodge House. Okay, I think that's for that. Yeah, number three. Just kind of amazing to look at the pictures.
it seems that each set of pages has at least two pictures, if not three. So North Carol USS North Carolina battleship. A lot of states have battleship parks. Texas, Alabama. It looks like the Sahara Desert right here in the United States. The west of the Pecos Museum. I've been there. It's really cool. Um, that's where Judge Roy Bean held court. And he made a town called Langtree after actress Lily Langtree. We went there on the same trip when we went to see Big Ben in Texas. Vicksburg battlefield. More like a siege than a battlefield. I mean, that just looks like something from Europe or Istanbul or something. You know, it's amazing the things that are right here in the U.S. to see. This Native American pottery, how detailed it was, caverns to explore. Just a, a handy thing to have in your travel toolkit if... Um, if you plan on taking in some of the country. have a mission and then we get to the index so that was the east west routes and now we have the north south routes on the back it says among some 600 appealing stopping places within a few minutes of the various north south interstates are these the liberty bill and independence national historical park in philadelphia a tranquil retreat at Cedar Creek State Park in the seclusion of a wooded West Virginia Valley and a marvelously eccentric medieval style castle with a charming view of the Connecticut River. I mean, look at that. And of course the Liberty Bell with a crack in it. And it's similar to the other one, it's how to use this book. But this is the north-south one. And it's in, in the other one, the road went that way and in this one, the road goes up and down. So we see the north-south interstates in America. And we continue through the, the tutorial section of the book. Very similar to the last book. And we start looking at the attractions. Like Peace Arch State Park, the Space Needle in Olympia, Washington, or is it? No, I'm sorry. It's Seattle, Washington. Not Olympia. Not Shasta. Yosemite National Park. Wow, I'd love to see that someday.
elephant rock. It looks like an elephant. Hoover Dam. Fort Fetterman State Historic Site. Colorado Springs, the Air Force Academy. Santa Fe is just loaded with amazing things to see. Elephant Butte Lake. Been there many times. An old timey 1920s telephone operator. Alamo. Dead River. Here in Alabama, we have something called Murder Creek. <laughs> it's on the way from where I live to Montgomery. I'm sorry, not Montgomery Mobile. I'm just out of it today. I'm getting everything wrong. <laughs> the St. Louis Arch. Cover bridges. They're always neat to see cover bridges. Amish country. Oh, that's pretty. It's like a big market. Engineers and iron workers cooperated to create the classic city market in 1886. This is um, Indianapolis City Market. Oh, Decatur, Alabama. That's um, the space park. They have a space camp there, too. that leap. 
Palisaded Fort. Uh, that's um, um, that's Colonial Mission Mackinac State Historic Park. Old boarding house. Carpet of moss and subtle rainbows puts this falls in a class by itself. That is a really pretty photograph. And oh, I've, I recognize this picture from Lookout Mountain. I think I took a, a photograph of this very. I wonder if I did. I think I took a photograph of this very thing when I went to visit Lookout Mountain. Let me see if I have the picture. I think that's it. Yep. That's the photograph I took. When I was there, and as you can see, it's the same thing. Let's see if there's any, any other pictures I took. Another picture of the cannon. That's me next to it. That was a long time ago. That was back in the in the early nineties. I looked a lot different. I had the hair. And that's me looking over the rail back in the early 90s. And we went to the Jack Daniels Distillery. <laughs> Just a little interlude there. If you're still following me. <clears throat> Magic Kingdom. a balloon fiesta mm, old workhouses work quarters down here in the south we have similar things uh, the mill houses uh, they're some of them called shotguns the way they're built is they're just like one basic door in door out Looks like a castle. And you can see why I like these books so much. So many ideas of things to see. Gillette Castle. There's a Liberty Bell. Civil War reenactor.
Walt Disney World in Florida, and that is the book. I think that the uh, other one has all the index, so I hope you enjoyed the video, and I, I hope maybe it sparked some travel excitement in you, and uh, something we should always remember to do is travel when we can. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video, and until next time, uh, please subscribe if you haven't done so, and click the bell icon, leave a comment, and give me a thumbs up. And I'll see you again soon. Bye.